My name is Guy Wallace and I am a semi-retired uh, instructional systems design consultant. I've been consulting since 1982. I entered the field back in 1979. Um, I was greatly influenced by people who were greatly influenced by the work of Gary A. Rumler, the late Gary A. Rumler, and Tom Gilbert, the late uh, Tom Gilbert, and the late Joe Harless, and the very much alive Bob Mager. Those were some of my biggest influences. Um, but I've spent the last 10 years, I've done uh, several curriculum architecture design projects. That's the thing I've kind of been known for uh, throughout my career. And, but I also spent 20 months in Toronto uh, trying to clean up a uh, messy situation with uh, SOPs, uh, standing, standard operating procedures, and then followed up with another project spending uh, months at, with another pharma company doing the same thing. Our client had moved from one pharma company in Canada to another company in, in the States and so we kind of followed him and, and did that same kind of work. Um, but most of my work over the past 40 years is instruction. So the curriculum architecture design thing where I do training and development paths and planning guides all based on a model of performance that's used to systematically derive all the enabling knowledge and skills and then you take all the performance data and the knowledge and skill data and look for existing content within a company so that you can affect reuse um, and reuse as is or reuse after modification because you may need to bookend some content with here's what this is all about and how we're going to apply it in your world and then go off and learn the generic content and then a bookend at uh, the back end, which is uh, applications, uh, practice, and feedback, so that you can uh, try to affect transfer, and then hopefully, if you targeted this in the right in the first place, there'll be return on investment.